This is an introductory lesson on Osmos with a second grade class. In this part of the lesson, you see me teaching students how to use the Words app in Osmo. The entire lesson covered how to use all of the various apps, including how to set up a profile and how to put all of the manipulative pieces back in their cases correctly so that they were well cared for and ready to go for whoever was going to use the app next. where I kind of started here with A, and then I got to here, but I haven't finished. So you can see that level, it has a star, so I finished it, but when I was, so I'm gonna click on there. It says Sleeping Animals versus Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony's that little character there, and I can say play or practice, so if I click play, As I explained how to use each app, I invited students up to play the app and then I gave them the materials to put away after we were finished going over that particular app. In the next part of the lesson, students have the opportunity to practice using three of the Osmo apps. Students are working both individually and collaboratively and are highly engaged as they interact with the app. In these clips, students are practicing using Osmo numbers. Students use tiles of one, two, or five dots to create numbers and push those combinations up above to pop bubbles to create water that falls down into a tank that fills up with fish and plants. Students were highly engaged and really didn't want to stop even when it was time to switch to a new app. In the pizza app, students were able to open a pizza shop, make pizza, bake pizza, and make change for customers when they were ready to pay. Various levels make it appropriate for many grade levels. Two drawing apps in Osmo allow students a chance to be creative, use their own images to trace over, or to use ones that are already in the Osmo apps. There were two coding apps that students were also able to try. Coding Jam, which allowed students to code music, and Coding Obby which allowed students to program Ami to walk along a path and complete his adventure. Both apps allowed students basic learning of coding skills. Students greatly enjoyed the Newton app. This allowed them to use various materials that could be found in any home or classroom, place those on the paper in order to see how they would affect the movements of drops that were dripping onto the screen. This employed many elements of physics, lots of cause and effect, and trial and error.
With the Tangram app, students were able to choose easy, medium, or hard. In the easiest version, the Tangram pieces were color-coded and shape-specific on the screen so students received more help from the app. In the medium level, those help elements are taken away, and in the more difficult level, just the outline of the shape is provided. In this clip, a student is using the Word app that was demonstrated at the beginning of the lesson. Once students have completed the introductory lesson, they are invited to come to the Library Learning Commons and use any of the Osmo apps before school or throughout the day. Teachers are also invited to set up centers where students can be sent to the Library Learning Commons to use the Osmo apps in conjunction with what they are learning in their classroom.